Today I'm going to talk about what temperatures are fevers by methods. And I'm also going to be taking my oral temperature. And my temporal artery temperature. So yeah. First myth, I want to first talk about oral temperature. The average oral temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature is above 99 degrees in the morning or 100 degrees in the afternoon, you have a fever. Next method I want to talk about is the auxiliary method. The average auxiliary temperature is 97.6 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature is above 98.6 degrees, you have a fever. Then there's the all accurate rectal method. Now, rectal temperature can be is one degree higher than oral and the normal rectal temperature is 99.6 degrees Fahrenheit. You, If it is 100.5 or more you have a fever. The last, me the last method I want to talk about, well, not the last method, is, of course, the ear method. This one is misleading for many reasons. First, if there's wax in the ear, you're going to get a very inaccurate reading. Second, it doesn't tell the truth. But the average ear temperature is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. At a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or more, you have a fever. Finally, there's the all new temporal method. This one runs very close to rectal. The average temperature for a temporal artery is 99.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And you have a fever if the temperature is 100.1 degrees or higher. That's it with the introductions. I will now demonstrate my temperature via both methods. Here we go. ninety eight point five so it's pretty close to normal and now for the temporal method Well, I, I want to make sure that's accurate. Yeah, so both temperatures are within normal. You don't have any infection or anything. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you understand what temperatures are fevers and what temperatures are not. Oh, and I want to mention one other thing.
there is such thing as having a low temperature. I'm going to tell you by the methods. Um, the first one is the oral method, of course. The temperature is less than 96.6. That means it's low. And you should get consult, get medical advice. Um, the armpit, if it's less than 95.5, that's also too low. Then, the rectal, if it's less than 97.6, that's too low. The ear method, anything under 97.9 is low. And finally, the, pardon this, the temporal method. Anything under 97.4, that's low. And I'm going to demonstrate my temperature one more time for you all. See if it changed over the past two minutes. First with the temporal, since I had that out first. It's gone up a little bit, but this is still considered normal. Oh wait, I forgot to turn my my thing over. So I'll do that again. Clear that. I wouldn't freak out if it's too bad. It's 98.7. It went up only two tenths of a degree. And yeah, that's basically about it with my video. Thank you for watching. Well, let me do it one more time. Let me do it one more time. Orally. As you can see, all three temperatures were within normal. So, thank you for watching, and I hope that you all don't get sick this season.